Interested in screen printing as a textile art custom designing technique? Here are all you need. A cotton machine, a permanent adhesive vinyl, a weeding tool, a squeegee, a scraper, a screen printing frame, a transparent transfer sheet, a screen printing water-based ink. And you, my darling, can achieve that. Yes, this is all you need. And to me, this is the safest and the best way to screen print on anything. If you want to learn more, then subscribe and don't go anywhere. Hey lovelies, this is Annie with Annie Marie. If you're new here, you're welcome. Do well to subscribe to our channel. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. So we're going to be using this permanent adhesive vinyl from Y r y m it's 12 inches by 12 inches i got it from amazon and i've been using this brand for two years now yes you heard me this is my go-to anytime i want to do screen printing okay and what i love about this is the packaging and the things it came with this came with um transfer sheet it came with um a scraper came with you know so many things that you really need okay once you get it you're good to go all you need is your cotton machine your computer and all that your screen printing frame it came with this instruction that tells you the cut setting for the vinyls i mean this is one thing i love about some manufacturers okay and before i bought this i did my homework you know me i don't spend my money where it's going to get lost okay you can see the transfer sheet and this is not one i've been using this looking at it you will know it's not new okay it has so many other ones i think it came with um five pieces of this transfer sheet or something but they were much okay and these are the varied colors okay this package is good this is what it came with it came with this scraper it came with so much and then the packaging is just what i love about it all right and i have this um this one that i've used before i'm going to just use one of the pieces i'm looking for white okay this is it i'm going to use this for today's project and i also have the one that i cut some time ago i think um i used it to make one or two stencils for my uh, christmas t-shirt it was screen printed t-shirts we did a photo shoot i'm trying to find it yes there it is okay this is it so you can see i've used this for a while now trust me okay so let's keep all this aside now and i'm going to carefully pack them and keep them safe if i don't keep them safe there is no way i'm going to be using them again right okay so let's just pack everything carefully set them aside and face the business of the day okay because i've already brought out the basic things that we need for this project all right so here are all we need right now okay this transfer sheet this permanent vinyl this scraper and this weeding tool and of course our silhouette cotton mat my favorite 12 inches by 12 inches mat these are all we need right now okay because we need to prepare our design and cut it out okay so we're going over to our computer because we need it right now okay so here on the computer i already have the design and once i get it ready all i have to do is to click on send send it to the cotton mat the cotton mat is going to perform its awesome magic and we're good to go so now i'm going to be getting the cotton mat ready by removing the cover this protects it from debris and dust okay i always use it on my mat and we're going to get our vinyl ready now we're going to place it the right side facing us okay right side facing you and the wrong side on the mat this is contrary to htv where we do the wrong side facing us and the right side on the mat okay now the grid on the mat is exactly what you're seeing on the white areas on the software on the computer okay so we need to follow those grids and align our permanent adhesive vinyl making sure that the placement is correct okay once we're good to go we insert it into the cotton machine now there is an edge on the cotton machine that does not allow you to misalign the mat okay so follow it through and make sure that you insert it properly and we're good to go okay and the next thing to do now is to go over to the computer and arrange our design 
properly in such a way that it's going to cut out very well okay so here on the computer i'm going to flip this horizontally i know what you're thinking this is not his tv right yes i know but this is screen printing okay we're not doing the normal permanent adhesive vinyl on our mug or a plate or a hat surface no we're using this for screen printing okay so it needs to be flipped horizontally and now we we'll send it over and once we do that we choose the cut setting all right now i have already preset my permanent adhesive vinyl cut settings i told you this in my former video that you can do it yourself all right so now i'm going to go over there remember the packaging came with their own settings okay you can use that but i just like doing my own thing all right i like experimenting and looking for what works for me now i've sent it to the cotton machine and it is cutting it out so we're going to wait for it to perform its magic i always call it magic i love technology okay the way these things work really amaze me i just love it and now that it's done we're going to press on the arrow and bring it out and you can see how neatly this cuts out i love this permanent adhesive vinyl this brand is awesome okay you can see how good it is and you're going to see how it's going to weed out this will weed out perfectly believe me okay so i have my weeding tool now and we'll start from the corners i always advise you start from the corners not from the up and not from down and we're pulling the design itself remember with htv you're pulling the rest of the vinyl but that is not the case here we're doing scrum printing okay so you will remove that part that you're supposed to adhere on the surface of your mug or plate or you know your frame or something that's the one we are discarding yes we need this place because this is where the ink is going to go through okay to give us the shape of this spoon all right so i'm going to pull off the next one and you can see how it's coming out it's just coming out perfectly i love this vinyl i really do love this vinyl this brand is awesome so the last part is where the words are and i'm going to pull it out carefully so now we have our screen printing stencil yes this is what you should be burning on your frame and all that but there is no burning no messing with chemicals here all right just our water-based ink now we're going to be using this transparent transfer sheet to adhere it and transfer it to our frame so all you have to do is to pull it diagonally remove it and then just place it on the white mat okay i like placing it on it instead of my table to avoid accumulation of dirt and debris on this transfer sheet okay you know it's adhesive okay it can just glue up anything all right so i'm going to carefully place it on it all right just carefully place it on it try to avoid too much air bubbles use my hand to spread it out and of course we're going to use the scraper to press on the vinyl and make it stick to the transfer sheet and also remove air bubbles and make it lay flat and glued to the transfer sheet okay now you can actually leave it like this until you're ready to screen print if you have any other thing going on like in our case we are going to be sewing the item that we will screen print on okay but i'm going to just show you how you can remove it from it's backing so now we'll carefully peel this up now while you're peeling it up hold down the vinyl the back all right hold it down and just pull it and you will have it so i'm going to place it back on the white backing of this transfer sheet keep it somewhere while we go over to sew our project that we'll be screen printing on while we want to use it we're going to flip it okay we're going to turn it around for the project i will show you when we get to that stage okay now let's go and sew our project we're going to be sewing a small kiddie apron the measurements for this simple apron is in the description so i have everything rolled already okay all the hems are rolled they are ready to be sewn on because it's not going to have any inner lining i made sure that the hems are rolled and i'm going to be sewing along those hems so this is the neck band the two that i just removed are just for decoration in front of the apron and this is the waistband or strip okay that will go from the front to the back to be tied on the waist now this is the upper part of it the chest part of the apron that will be screen printed on all right and now this is the lower part 
everything has been hemmed. We will start by sewing on the neck band, okay? And it's going to be sewn at the edges, okay? On both edges, just along those hems. It's very important so that it will be neat and the inside that won't have lining will still look perfect. Okay, that's the essence of hemming it before sewing on it. And now look at it, already attached and looking good. Now the next thing is to attach the lower part. And to attach the lower part, we're going to be putting the waistband, which is the, um, the strip, in between them okay so the upper part will be sewn on the hem of the waist strip or the waistband and the lower part will also be attached to it i will show you what i mean when i just finish sewing it now okay so this is what it's going to look like okay the band is going to be in between the two of them all right so let me go on and do that and i will cover it with this strip just for decorative purposes okay so i've done that now i've just sewn the waistband and look at the way it looks okay this is what i was trying to explain so i'm going to go on to sew the decorative bands over the waistband and the second hem all right so let me do that and show you how it looks it's going to be beautiful <laughs> yes it's going to look beautiful okay this is where the second one is going to go on. All right. Okay. So there we have it looking beautiful. Now you might feel this apron is small, but trust me, it is not that small. Okay. I'm going to go on and show you how it looks on a mannequin. Now, if you turn it, you will see that the back is looking very neat because we rolled the hems, okay? And this doesn't need any kind of lining. Just trim off the excess thread and that's it, okay? And this part of the apron, which is the chest, is where we're going to be scrum printing on, all right? Now, let me show you how this looks on a mannequin. I mean, any petite lady can wear this looking hot and beautiful in the kitchen, okay? That's exactly where our screen printer design is going to go on. So let's go ahead and get it ready to be custom designed. There we go. So I have everything ready. My speedball screen printing frame with the back. This is where you place your item you want to screen print. Okay, this backing is very good. I love it. And here is our design, okay? So you can see I flipped it, all right? So that by the time we turn this frame over, the design is going to be facing us the proper way, okay? Now we're going to drop it back and we're going to use this scraper to adhere it properly before we remove the transfer sheet, okay? So now I'm going to use the scraper to push down on it, okay? Not so hard because this is a screen printing frame. It's the way you would do it. You're going to tear the screen, all right? So we're going to do this gently and also do the front okay now i used solo tape to cover up the places that the vinyl did not cover this is very important because you don't want the ink to touch whatever that you're screen printing on all right so we use the solo tape to cover everywhere and when you now use your squeegee to push down the ink it's not going to touch your item all right so now we need to pull out the transfer sheet and the same method hold down on the vinyl while you're pushing it up okay while you're peeling it it's very important if not it's going to follow it back up okay i use that all over again so we are doing it carefully and gently and it has adhered we have our stencil on the frame Okay, this decided to tear it a little bit. I forgot that I added the solo tape close to the transfer sheet. Okay, but you can see we have our stencil ready to be used. Okay, this looks good. Okay, so this is like burning your design on the screen. This is just it. The only thing is that this one is better and it's removable. So now we're going to place what we're going to screen print on down on this board. 
okay this product i got it from amazon and you know it came like this there are some that just comes with just this front here okay just this one but i got this because it makes it very easy and convenient to use it's, it's like the bigger machines you know we have screen printing screens you know that have uh, they're made of metal right okay we have um four heads three heads and all that okay so i'm trying to hook it because this frame can be raised up and down and this is very good if you're screen printing in bulk like i've used it to do 36 t-shirts for a church you know i've used it to do so many projects since i got it and this frame is like two years with me yes it's two years all right i have another one okay i i just have a different frame right so if i'm doing multiple work of course i can use the two of them now when you are scrum printing this is water-based ink you need to whip this like your egg you know the way you whip your egg until it's fluffy you know you need to whip this it makes the ink to flow very well it makes the ink not to be clumpy and you know it's going to just flow over the screen as you work with it it's very important don't just scoop it out from the pack or the box or whatever and just start screen printing with it no 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 whip it properly make it look fluffy and light okay now you just scoop it and put it just before the design okay on top of the solo tape not on your design it's very important just scoop enough that will cover the whole area the design is located because you want to just pass your squeegee ones now the first thing to do is to coat the screen cover the screen with the ink you don't just press it immediately on the uh, on your item no this is very important so that the screen will be ready to accept the ink and transfer it to your item now you press down and pass it across it the second time now this time we are screen printing on our item now you can do this once or you can do it twice it depends on you but don't do it more than twice because this ink can actually you know be clumpy at the end of the day if you do it too much now raise it gently and you have a design now coat the screen again this is water-based ink when you don't coat your screen again it can dry off water ink water-based inks dry easily and it's going to make it difficult for you to wash your screen and this is our design so we're going to leave it to air dry you can use your hand dryer to dry it and we'll use heat press on it to heat bake it and make it permanent in my next video i'm going to show you how to screen print with multiple colors on a t-shirt okay the heat press has been preheated and set to 10 to 15 seconds and ready to heat set our design now i'm going to use copy paper to cover my design just in case it has not dried properly and won't stain my heat press so i'm going to heat set it for 10 to 15 seconds and raise it up now when i raise it i will check the copy paper to see if it was actually dry if i don't see any stain on my copy paper i'm going to hit it again for like five to ten seconds just to make sure that our design is going to be permanent and last for a long time so i'm going to hit it again just to make sure that it is well set and looking at my copy paper i am sincerely not seeing any stain which actually <laughs> gave me the you know the effrontery to reheat it again okay just make sure you always air dry it for a while or use your hand dryer okay before heat setting it it's very okay that way and now we're good to go our design is set and there we have our screen printed item looking beautiful neat and professionally made i hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did give this video a thumbs up share your thoughts at the comment section don't forget to subscribe to our channel and i will see you in the next one until later lovelies